So, the last 10 first overall draft picks, and where are they now? Starting with 2021. In 2021, the first overall draft pick was the right forward Jonathan Donville from the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club in the Major Series The Cross League. He was drafted to Panther City, but Jonathan did not play in 2021 season because he was using his final year of NCAA eligibility to play at the University of Maryland. This year, in 2022, at the time of recording, he is currently fourth on his team in points with one goal and 10 assists for 11 points in three games played. So, I would say Jonathan met expectations, but I could see an argument for another way since his first season just started. The first overall draft pick of 2020 was Jeff T. If you're a lacrosse fan, I bet you have heard his name before because in his rookie season, he got drafted to the New York Riptide, and he broke the record for rookie points and assists and was the first rookie to get over 100 points with 108 points consisting of 71 assists and 37 goals in just 18 games. So I think it's pretty obvious that he got Rookie of the Year and was on the NOL All-Rookie Team. And this year, in 2022, he is currently second in lead scoring with 18 points in two games. So I would certainly say that he exceeded expectations by a mile. The first overall draft pick of 2019 was the forward Tyson Gibson from Robert Morris University. He was drafted by the same team as Jeff T, which is the New York Riptide. Tyson scored the Riptide's first ever goal in the second quarter at an away game against my favorite team, the Halifax Thunderbirds. Tyson finished his short and rookie season with 43 points on 16 goals and 27 assists in 12 games. And also won the NOL Rookie of the Year which also means that the New York Riptide had back-to-back rookies of the year. So I would say that Tyson exceeded expectations. In 2018, the first overall draft pick was Austin Stats from Onondoga Community College. He was drafted to the San Diego Seals in Austin's rookie season. He put up 61 points consisting of 32 goals and 29 assists in 14 games. He finished fifth on his team in points and was selected to the All-Rookie Team and later won Rookie of the Year. Now in the 2021-2022 season, he scored 79 points in 15 games, consisting of 32 goals and 42 assists. I would say Austin exceeded expectations because his last few seasons have been quite good. 2017's first overall draft pick was Josh Byrne from Hofstra University. He was selected by Buffalo with their only first-round pick. In his first season in the NOL, he put up 63 points on 26 goals and 37 assists with a 15% shooting rate. Byrne got named to the All-Rookie Team and was a nomination for Rookie of the Year. This year, so far, he is third on his team in points with four goals and five assists for nine points in two games with a 21 shooting percentage, but I would say Byrne was below expectations because I think you would expect a first overall draft pick to get Rookie of the Year. 2016's first overall pick was Ryan Keenan from Quinnipiac University. Ryan was selected by Saskatchewan Rush from a pick they acquired from Vancouver Warriors. In his rookie season, Ryan got a bit more underwhelming rookie season with only 42 points on 13 goals and 29 assists with a 14% shooting rate. So far this year, he has stepped it up because he is currently third on his team with 4 goals and 7 assists for 11 points in 2 games with a 25% shooting percentage. I would say that because it took him a while to see good numbers, I'm going to say he was below expectations. The first overall draft pick in 2015 was Lyle Thompson from University at Albany. He was drafted by the Georgia Swarm with the pick they acquired from the New England Black Wolves. If you have ever watched a game of pro lacrosse, you've probably heard of Lyle Thompson. He is quite the household name, and he will probably go down as one of the best lacrosse players ever. In his rookie season, Lyle put up 60 points on 27 goals and 33 assists. He was also selected to the NOL All-Rookie Team, but finished second in rookie scoring because of an amazing rookie season by Ben McIntosh. But nevertheless, Lyle continued to have amazing seasons, and so far he has 537 career points on 238 goals and 299 assists in 103 games. 
and a 19.6 career shooting percentage, and scores some of the craziest goals you'll ever see. He has become a human highlight reel, so I think that Lyle Thompson has exceeded expectations by a long shot. The first overall draft pick in 2014 was Ben McIntosh from Drexel University. He was drafted by Edmonton with a pick they acquired from Minnesota, but he didn't play in 2014 so that he could play another season of NCAA. But in 2015, he put up 37 goals and 49 assists for 86 points in 18 games. And as I said earlier, he won Rookie of the Year over Lyle Thompson, so of course, he was on the NLL All-Rookie Team. And so far in his career, he has 246 goals and 200 assists for 452 points in 117 games and a respectable 20.2 career shooting percentage, so I would say that he exceeded expectations. 2013's first overall draft pick was Logan Stuss from Ohio State. He was drafted by Minnesota from a pick they acquired from Buffalo. In his rookie season, he scored 36 goals and 37 assists for 73 points in 18 games. He was also named to the All-Rookie Team and won 2013 Rookie of the Year. So far, he has 208 goals and 327 assists for 535 career points in 127 career games. So I think that Logan exceeded expectations. The first overall draft pick from 2012 is Mark Matthews from the University of Denver. He was selected to the Edmonton Rush. In his rookie season, he scored 38 goals and 31 assists for 69 points in 18 games, which led to him being named to the All-Rookie Team and winning Rookie of the Year. In his career so far, he has scored 866 points on 320 goals and 546 assists, so I would say that Mark Matthews definitely exceeded expectations. Now for the last rookie of the video, which is the 2011 first overall draft pick, Kevin Crowley from Stony Brook University. Kevin was selected by Philadelphia, and in his rookie season, he scored a very good 71 points in 16 games on 36 goals and 35 assists. He was also named to the NLL All-Star Team, but sadly finished second in rookie scoring, so he didn't win Rookie of the Year. But in his career so far, he has 339 goals and 443 assists for 782 points in 167 games. So I would say that, again, he surpassed expectations. So that's the last 10 first overall draft picks. I hope you enjoyed, and if so, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified for the next weekly upload.